Okay, I want to make uh, one short video that talks about how to create an equivalent fraction when you're given a fraction. Okay, so if you have not watched the video on how to tell if a fraction is equivalent or not, that might be a good video to review as well. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to give you a fraction and we're going to create an equivalent fraction. So the, the way to do that is take your fraction, let's use 3 fourths, and you're going to multiply the top and bottom number by the same amount. And it doesn't matter what that amount is as long as the top and bottom are the same. So I could do top and bottom times 3. Numerator 3 times 3 equals 9. Denominator 4 times 3 equals 12. 3 fourths is equivalent to 9 twelfths. I could use a big number. I could use 100. Right? If I use it on the top, I have to do it on the bottom. 3 times 100 is 300. 4 times 100 is 400. So, uh, 3 fourths is equivalent to 9 twelfths. It's also equivalent to 300, 400. And there's many other things you could create that are equivalent. As long as whatever you multiply to the top, you also do at the bottom. Okay? As we move more into division, you also could do equivalent fractions this way. Let's say I have 6 eighths, and I want to find an equivalent fraction, maybe that has a smaller numerator. So in that case, I could use division. So let's divide the top number by 2. If I divide 6 by 2, I get 3. My new numerator is 3. If I divide the bottom by 2, remember whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. My new denominator is 4. So 6 eighths is the same as 3 fourths. The tricky thing about the division way is if I have 6 eighths, Okay, I can divide 6 by 3, right? That equals 2. If I divide 8 by 3, remember whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom, I am not going to get a whole number. There won't be a whole number that goes here. 8 divided by 3 is not a whole number, okay? So for equivalent fraction, um, there wouldn't be one that goes with a 2 in the numerator for 6 eighths, okay? So you can use either division like this or you can multiply the top and bottom by the same amount to create an equivalent fraction.